Hi all, I am Saurabh Soni and this is Struts 3.8 Interceptor. In this session, we will see what an interceptor is and how to use them. Let's start. Interceptors are used for embedding the pre and post processing before and after the action. So if you want to perform some logic before action method is involved, then you can do via interceptor. After clicking submit button, interceptors is called and then action class execute method is called. And then again, interceptors are called before returning success page. Interceptor defines common cross-cutting task in a clean and reusable architectural component. So logics which are common among different functionality or are reusable are implemented using interceptors rather than in action execute method. For example, logging, validations, double submit guard, file upload, etc. Interceptor life cycle have three stages. Pre-processing logic where logic that need to be implemented before action invocation are executed. Then control goes to next interceptor, then next till all the interceptors are executed. Then finally action execute method is invoked using invoke method. Interceptor may also alter or cancel action invocation and directly return the control. Last stage is post processing where logic that need to be implemented after action invocation are executed. Let's start hands on. We'll use same demo used in last session. We will learn two interceptors now. Logger for logging information and timer to calculate execution time. For this, open struts.xml. Now inside action, add to interceptor using interceptor reference tag with name as logger and similarly second with name as timer. And this in all three actions. Rest of struts.xml is same as we used in previous session. Now execute the code. Enter name and email. Click register as educator. Now in the console, you can see logs. This is because we have used logger interceptor. In the log, we can see action class my action is called. Also, we can see execution time, which is calculated using timer interceptor. Now, clear the console, go back and click register as student. You can again see logs and execution time. Right now we are using two interceptors. But, but when we are using many interceptors together, then writing them again and again in different action is repetitive. To avoid this, we can club them all and use a single interceptor. This can be done using interceptor stack. In the next demo, I have created a stack. First, we use interceptor tag. Inside that, we use interceptor stack. Give some name to refer it. In my case, it is my stack. Now, inside this, refer the entire interceptors you want to use. So, I am using logger and timer. 
Now in our action, we will use our interceptor stack, my stack, which will include both logger and timer. Let's execute the code. Click register as educator. In the console, you can see both logs and timer. You can notice the interceptor lifecycle. First, interceptor pre processing. So we got logs that we invoke action method. Then we got educator as we gave the output in our execute method. Then we got the timer and again the logger for post processor. 